Hi YouTube, today we're going to have a look at a little hint or tip on how to get some CDs into iTunes on an iMac when you haven't got an optical drive. So here you can see we've got a UB40, Razorlite and a Kings of Leon CD and with my current iMac and most of the iMacs and the Mac range over the last few years they don't actually come with an optical drive anymore. Um, you can get a optical drive direct from Apple but for the sake of just putting a few CDs in it seems a bit um, uncost effective so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a few bits and pieces I've got lying around to make my own optical drive okay so first of all what I've done is I've managed to acquire a couple of optical drives I'm only going to use one of them but I've got two here just in case one of them is that old or doesn't work so first of all we've got an old Philips CD writer and as you can see this was actually made in 2003 so it is quite old 13 years old um, and it is an IDE connection and we're using the old Molex power connector there instead of the SATA power connector so that's one drive if that lens is all messed up dirty full of fluff dust whatever then I've got a second one and that one again is made by Philips. This one is just a DVD ROM drive, but as we know, DVD ROM drives will play CDs. And granted, I'm only importing CDs, I don't need anything special. And this one again, as you can see there, manufactured October 2003. So this one is 13 years old again, pretty much. Right, so. How do I connect an old internal IDE drive to an iMac? Well, first of all, we need to get power to the drive. So what I have here is, um, it's just a cheap and cheerful power brick here, which connects via a figure of eight, and obviously you'd use the cable specific for your country to connect it to the, uh, the power. And then on the other end, we have a Molex connector so obviously that would plug directly into the drive so we have power to the drive but how do we get the data from the drive to the actual iMac itself well what I have here is another cheap and cheerful thing you can find on Amazon or eBay and that is a USB 2.0 high-speed IDE adapter so that plugs directly into the back of the drive and then obviously this end plugs into a USB slot or a USB hub. Unfortunately, as you can see, the cable on this is not very long at all. So luckily enough, I do have a USB hub right next to my keyboard, so I can plug directly into that. Or alternatively, because I do actually have a wired Apple keyboard, this does have a USB socket on, so I could literally just plug it in there and put the drive on the side. One last thing, um, I've got some old um, rubber coasters here. I did actually have a set of four, I don't know where the other two are at the moment. Uh, when we put the drive down on the desktop, what the best thing to do is, is put it on these, because obviously, as we know, the disc spin, and we want something to kind of cushion it whilst it's rotating because if not you're going to get a lot of vibration noise on your desk so if you've got a little rubber mat or even just a small towel or a flannel obviously dry just pop it on top of that and it'll stop it making a load of humming and buzzing noise right then okay so let's get this thing plugged in the mac fired up and see if these drives work Okay folks, as you can see, I've got the IDE connector connected via USB. We do have the power plugged in and there is a green light on the power brick. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got the drive tray open on the drive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop a CD in there and then close that up. And then hopefully that should detect and load up on the iMac. That's worked straight away, it's found it. Um, I won't play any of the music, obviously, due to copyright reasons, 
but um, it has actually come up on the desktop. Would I like to import the CD into iTunes? Okay, so I'm just gonna click yes, okay, import the CD, and that is now importing. So I'll come back in a few minutes when that's done. Okay, folks, so that's the last disc now imported. All I need to do is go into iTunes and get the correct album art cover put into my iTunes library. So just to summarize, the CD drive was essentially free, but if you do need one, you can pick these up as little as £10 uh, using UK currency. And the IDE adapter, or if you need a SATA one, if you're using a SATA, SATA drive, plus the power cable, you can normally pick them up for around about £10 as well. So if you look around, shop around, this whole thing will cost you about £20 if you need one. And if you compare that to the price of the Apple SuperDrive, which costs around £60, you're getting it all done for a third of the price. Obviously, it's not as aesthetically pleasing, but if, like me, you only need to do the odd CD here and there, now and again, and you're not using it on a daily basis, then this more than suffices and does the job perfectly. So what I'll do is I'll see if I can find uh, these on Amazon links and I'll post them in the description below. Also a link to a cheap CD or DVD reader. You can also use a writer as well if you do wish to write. Uh, so I'll just put a few links in where you can get these from Amazon. And using my Amazon links you are helping support the channel because I do get a small kickback uh, on commission for the sales if you use my links. So please do that. And as usual, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know.